consider this example. These three are not uh, orthogonal, correct? If they are, how do you check whether they are orthogonal or not? These are real vectors in three dimensions. So, dark product you have to see. If the dark product is zero, they are orthogonal. Otherwise, the inner product in the familiar vectors is simply the dark product. Okay? Familiar vectors are real space. The three dimensional vectors that we are familiar with classical physics, they are actually dark product of the vectors. Inner product is same as the dark product. So, you know they are not orthogonal, but they are they linearly independent? How do you check whether they are linearly independent or not? You take alpha 1 b1 plus alpha 2 b2 plus alpha 3 b3 is equal to 0. That means what? I will have left hand side alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 3 alpha 2 plus alpha 3 alpha 3 is equal to 0 0 0. So it is straightforward alpha 3 is 0, alpha 2 is 0, alpha 1 is 0. They are linear linear. But they are not orthogonal. Because V1 dot V2, V1 dot V2 is 1. Right? V1 dot V3 is 1. V2 dot V3 is 2. And so on. They are not normalized. Even if you normalize them, they are not orthogonal. So this is a counter example to say that all a set of linearly independent vectors. You can construct that. So, when, and we said any, uh, for a three dimensional vector space, three linearly independent vectors will form a basis. But linearly independent set of vectors are not orthogonal. So, basis in general need not be orthogonal. So, you can have a non orthogonal basis. Because only basis requires a set of linearly independent. That means, and linear independent vectors are not necessarily after. <coughs> okay. 